What's up, everybody? Welcome to my channel. Mm, we are in his home. We are. What were you gonna say? Good to be here. I was gonna say it's good to be here. <laughs> I wanted to talk to you about the golden guitars. I love the golden guitars. A lot of people are like unfamiliar with them. I'm noticing. It is funny. They they don't get probably the shine that they deserve. I you know I think there's some questions you can answer about it because okay so this is a golden multiac. I Golden multi is what it's called? ACS Rosewood. Okay, now at, at its purest, I, I've gigged with this guitar a few times. I love it. It has a very dark, mellow tone compared to like the brightness of a steel string acoustic. The great thing about Golden guitars is they have... Six individual pickups. Yeah, these guitars have six individual pickups. So like the sound is so clear. And also the other thing about these guitars is most of them are thin profile, like mm -hmm. semi-hollow. This one is happens to be solid, like an electric guitar. I prefer semi-hollow, which is my main guitar, but it's in the shop right now. Yeah, it's getting, a more resonant. Getting polished. The sustain is a little better on that it's one. I've better noticed. sustain. Uh -huh. But this one is great. And the reason I got this one is because for traveling, it's great. You know, you still have an ac uh, acoustic sounding guitar yep. when you connect it, but it has the, the thinness of an electric guitar. And if you're gonna have it on the airplane, it's less likely to break yep. than uh, semi hollow guitar. There's no feedback at all. When you're performing, yep. you can play with a live band next to the amplifiers and everything. It will not give you any feedback. I need to get one. It's great. I mean, it's so well made too. Like the construction of it, the feel, mm -hmm. the action of the Golden's, I find that it's good, but it, it can be fine too, definitely. I feel like it needs a setup. Yeah, it, need, it needs a uh, But you know, so do most guitars. Mm -hmm. We're not even talking about the most distinct feature of this guitar though. Yeah. What is, what is it? The coolest feature of this guitar is it has a normal quarter inch plug, but it also has a synth connection. A cord, it's called a 13 pin connector. You plug it in and you buy a synthesizer for guitar. Suddenly you have a piano or a saxophone or an accordion or many, many instruments mm. from your guitar. It's incredible. Yeah, and because of those individual pickups, it can do that because every single string is transmitting MIDI information. And it actually, it really sounds good. I use the synth a lot because I have a loop station. Mm -hmm. So I'm able to actually record drums and then record bass and piano and put it all together live. So for me, it's very practical, it's very useful. I definitely think for any kind of looping situation, it's like the ultimate tool. Correct. My, my thing is just more acoustic, so I get by exactly. with whatever. Another great thing is like if you're doing like home recording and stuff, and maybe you don't play a piano, because really, as far as recording stuff, the, the piano keyboards are kind of like the ultimate MIDI controller. You know, if you're way better at guitar than piano, then that's probably like the way to go to trigger samples exactly. in a exactly. UW or something. The sound of a Godin, when you hear a Godin plugged in, it's just such very, a very great smooth, sound. Very mellow. It's kind of that perfect space between classical and steel string guitar. Mm -hmm. It's almost kind of like a middle ground to me. I've heard they're actually making a steel string version of this. They've had a steel steel string version of the of this of this uh, multi act okay, yeah. series. I haven't played that one yet, but I haven't played them something. either. But yeah. I honestly think nylon nylon is as if you're if you're gigging a lot, nylon is the way to go. I find that if you add uh, like a TC electronics. I'll link it in the in the description. When you click that pedal, you suddenly your guitar sounds like a flamenco, like a Spanish guitar. So it's it's a great addition to a Godin. Thanks to a friend of mine that recommended it to me, El Javi from Colorado. Just a great clean signal that you can do a lot with. You know. Yeah. Why don't we give them a little demo? Do you have a, a quarter inch chord that we can? Because uh, it has no. Yeah. Sure. I'm on my way to meet my friend Sean Daniel, the YouTuber, famous guitarist, musician, basketball player. Sean and I go way back. When we first met, we spoke about possibly playing tennis together. And in all the years knowing him, guess how many times we played tennis together? 
Zero. But in the years knowing him, we recorded two albums, wrote many songs together, and became good friends. Sean? Where are you? What's up? Oh my gosh. Oh, you're vlogging, cool. I'm not vlogging, I'm just pointing the camera at you while I record so I can mm -hmm. upload it to YouTube later and say a story. <laughs> I think that's vlogging. What's up, brother? You can handsome today. Well, you know, I'm, I'm doing the strategy that you use. Like even when it's hard to wear something like a, like a shirt, or a coat or something, long sleeve shirt, just to look cool, to model, Yeah. by a so, mirror. That's how I do it. I have a lot of mirrors around here. Can I get you anything? Anyway, I could have a little drink from your espresso machine. I didn't even know, my hair's not even prepared. I was talking to my audience about you. Oh yeah? On my way here. We were gonna play tennis, and we never played tennis. Never played tennis, never happened. I challenge you to play tennis on, an, on the next video. I. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Kind of a busy man. Are you too busy for a friend? Yeah, I am actually. We can play tennis. We'll play tennis sometime. You know, how are you gonna vlog yourself playing tennis? That's gonna be rough. There's a thing called GoPro. I don't wanna wear anything on my head. You don't have to wear it in your head. You can wear it in your chest. <laughs> <laughs> we'll make it happen. Don't worry. Yeah? What? <laughs> I've never seen Sean make a mistake before. Well, no, that's going too far. But look what he gave me to ask. I gave <laughs> Is that something you guys do in Australia? Where are you from? Yeah, I'm from the, the Australian bushland. Is that? Oh, okay. The flour and the sugar bags are identical. I actually prefer brown sugar. Oh, bro, great. I have that. Brown This place is beautiful. There's beautiful shells everywhere. Oops. <laughs> 